Hi, this is Sam Ulano demonstrating for you the various Latin rhythms as they would be applied to the set of timbales and the commercial set of drums. Many of these rhythms are discussed and applied to the band, but yet there are many, many problems with them. We're going to try to clear up these problems with this recording. I am sitting right now behind a complete set of drums, a snare drum, bass drum, with a 913 tom-tom and a 16-inch tom-tom to my right, a 20-inch ride cymbal and a set of socks. Also in front of me is a set of timbales with a cha-cha bell and a regular mambo bell. This would be the large type of bell that is used for mambos. The cha-cha bell is a small bell of about three or four inches. They are taped up to deaden the sound and give us that muffled feeling of the bell itself. To begin, our first basic idea of all these rhythms is the clave rhythm. These are your two pieces of wood, rosewood or coca bola wood, that give us a rhythm of this effect. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. It's a two-measure phrase falling out with three beats in the first measure and two in the second. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three. The clave rhythm helps develop your swing in all your Latin rhythms, such as the bolero rumba, your mambo, double mambo, Afro-Cuban, your mantunas, your calypso huaraches, and a number of the others. Now our first rhythm to work with is the cha-cha. The cha-cha is developed with four quarter notes in the measure. One, two, three, four. The tempo is slow, and the drive of the quarter notes are played on the shell or the pila of the timbali. And it's four quarter notes in this effect. One, two, three, four. With the left hand playing on the second and fourth beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this can be applied to a cha-cha bell in this effect with the same four quarter notes. Three, four, with the left hand on the two and four. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now to apply it to your regular set of drums, for those who do not have timbales, we can play it on the side of the 16-inch tom-tom shell, giving you this type of effect. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. With the left hand playing on two and four on the snare drum. One, two, three, four. Or you can apply it to your bell of the top of the cymbal. Or one, two, three, four, and develop it into eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Or on your big bell and four and for the drive. Three and four and or back to the shell of the timbali. Two and three and four in that effect for those who have timbales. Now we can also develop the cha cha with playing the left hand on the two and on the and of three and and of four in this effect. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and with your right hand playing four quarter notes. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Now you can get various little breaks into your cha-cha rhythm in a simple form by hitting a rim shot on the small timbali or on the big timbali. This can also be applied to the snare drum by hitting it near the edge of the rim on the snare drum. On your timbali. On the deep timbali. On your big tom-tom. Now this would fit into the rhythm in this effect. Back on your cymbal for drive. Three and four and one. That would be the cha-cha. Our next rhythm is the bolero rumba, which is very similar to the cha-cha, but with not as much drive. This is a four-beat measure, as we have it written on our demonstration sheet that comes along with this recording. And it has two sixteenths on the first quarter note. One and a two and three and four and one and a two and three and four and on the side of the timbali shell. One and three and four and 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 very subtle and easy with the bass drum on the one two three four one two and three four one two three four the 
this can be applied for a very soft sound on the rim of your snare drum. One and three and four and with the left hand playing on your snare drum as a tom-tom and four and or on your closed sock and one two and three and four and one two and three or on your cowbell that's mounted on your bass drum three and four and one and three and four and or on the top of your ride cymbal one two and three and four and or the shell of your bass drum one two and three and four and you can also use your cha-cha bell for the same type of effect one two and three and four and but it is not the best sound that you would want to have. Now the bolero rumba has the bass drum on the one, two, three, four. Can also be played on the one and the three of the measure, but the most common is the one, two, three, four, because you are playing the same type of rhythm that the bass player would be using or the piano player would be playing with his left hand. The single mambo. Now this rhythm is a little faster in tempo than your bolero rumba or cha-cha. It's almost a medium fast tempo and can be played on the side of the timbali shell in this effect. Or you can apply it for drive on the top of your ride cymbal. Your bass drum on the one and three. Your left hand on two and four, simulating the sound that a conga drummer would be doing. It would have this effect. One, two, three, four. That's your left hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bass drum on one and three. One, two, three, four. Bringing in your right hand and four. And this would be just a little slower type of mambo. I'm, I'm mambo. And that would give you a single mambo effect. This can be applied to a closed sock. On the side of your timbales, for those who have it. On your cowbell. And you can do it on the top of your snare drum for a very soft sound with the rim. On the side of your 16-inch tom-tom. It's also very important to remember, whether you're playing on the timbales or on your set of drums, you must use the dowel stick. This is very good to be had at a 3 8 thickness and the length of about 14 or 15 inches. It would give you the right leverage. Do not use a regular drumstick for your Latin American work on the set or on the timbales. It gives you too heavy a sound and does not give you the flexibility that you would like to have to get around the instrument. The next is the double mambo. Now many think the single mambo is one tempo and that the double mambo means that you play twice as fast than your single mambo. But this is not so. Actually, it's the reverse. The single mambo is a moderate fast tempo. The double mambo is a slow tempo, almost identical to your cha-cha feel or your bolero rumba. Here is a double mambo rhythm. One, two, three, four. Now, there's a lot of drive in your double mambo. This can be played as eighth notes, accent to one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, and one, and three, oh, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. Now, for a lot of drive, you can use two sticks, one in your right hand, one in your left hand, and apply it the same fashion where on your timbales you would use your fingers without a stick. Apply the same rhythm using a stick. This would sound something in this effect. One, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and it will help your flexibility when you try to get some solos and some rhythms into your beats, such as this on the timbales. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. On the set of drums, you can apply the small snare drum sound and your big tom-tom sound and apply those two in the same effect that you would do your timbales. For those who do not have timbales, this effect can be done either using your snare drum or your 913 and the 16 inch in something of this effect on the double mambo. Playing the rhythm on the top of the cymbal, left hand on the snare drum, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and four, and bass drum on the one, one, two, three, four, on one and three with the bass drum. On your cowbell, four drive. One, two, three, and four.
That would be the double mambo. The Afro-Cuban. This is also very similar to the feel of your Bolero rumber, except with a lot of more drive and a lot of more vitality and push behind it. And one important thing is that the last eighth note of the measure, one and two and three and four and, as written in the, di in the diagram that you have on this uh, pamphlet that accompanies this record, you will notice that the last eighth note is rested. It's the last and count, one and two and three and four and rested, and you get this type of effect with your and three and four and accented in this effect. One, two, and three, and four. 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 You can apply that with your left hand without a stick. Three, and four, and just let your right hand do the rhythm. Left hand, and three, and four. Yum, two, and three, and four. On the set of drums, you can do it with a cross stick with your left hand over the drum and your right hand in this effect with your right hand playing the last three accents on the large tom-tom. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. And the bass drum on one and three. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One. That would be the Afro-Cuban. Now, to discuss the endings of the cha-cha, bolero, rumba, single mambo, double mambo, and Afro-Cuban, you will notice that there is a big similarity in all of them. The cha-cha rhythm is one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. And coming to the ending, we have two measures with a one, three, and one of the second measure in this effect. One, two, and three, and four. Cha, 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 Just three beats. On your bolero rumba, the same effect. Three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, on the double mambo, the same effect. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three. On the Afro-Cuban, the same effect. One, two, and three and four. One, two, and three and four. One, two, and three and four. And one, two, three, four, one. There's your effect. On the single mambo, the same rhythm effect. One, two, three. Of course, if you're playing with a band that has written arrangements, that would be governed by what the arranger writes. He is the one who's going to govern how the ending would be. But if you're playing with a two or three or four piece or five piece unit at a club date, in a small club, or at any type of a dance that you might be working at, you'll find that most of the faking type of music that's done in this Latin American effect is done in the three beat ending. Now, of course, you might also embellish your ending a little bit. Sometimes you may have a vocalist who is singing. You can play background for her on the side of the timbali shell for a singer, whether it's cha-cha, double bolero, double mambo, single mambo, Afro-Cuban on the side of the shell for the vocalist. The piano chorus also on the side of the shell or the rim of the snare drum, the same type of beat. The effect is the same for guitar, the accordion. Also, if the trumpet player is playing with a mute, you can play the effect on a very soft sound on the shell or the pile of sound. Of course, if there's a drive in which you're trying to get a bigger sound where you might have a large band with a sax section or brass section, you can let out a lot more by playing the same rhythms on the right cymbal. Can be embellished by doing a fill in something on this effect. I, I, mambo, I, I, mambo, I, I, mambo, bop, bop, bop. Give you a big ending of that effect. Or you might roll the end and end it with a little rim shot on that effect. But this is also governed by the type of arrangement you are working with. So that is your various endings and how they can be applied to the band when you're playing with a small unit, two, three, or four, or five men, must remember that if you are faking, these are the type of things that you can apply to your timbales and your set of drums.